In this video, I'm going to give you the simplest strategy to maximize this bull run. If you implement this strategy into your trading this year, I can almost guarantee that you're gonna come out the other side so much better. And this is a tactic that the best traders, the best investors have been using for years to make major profits in the crypto market. And hopefully by the end of it, I'm able to shift your perspective a little bit on the market and enable you to unlock larger profits if you do implement this strategy. So firstly, let's take a look at where the market sits. Bitcoin has obviously been on a crazy run going all the way up from $16,000 to almost all-time high territory in the $62,000 range. The market is also showing additional signs of froth. This is evident via looking at the funding APRs across a variety of altcoins on Velo. And another sign of the market going crazy is, of course, the meme coins, which have been exploding. We've seen Pepe, Flocky, Bonk, Whiff, Doge, SHIB, all starting to perform really, really strongly. And this is something I covered on yesterday's show, one coin in particular that I said I was buying with. Since that show came out, it's already up another 40%. You can see here the blue line is when I released the show. Since then, it has continued on its monster pump up 45% and it's showing no signs of slowing down. So well done to everyone that got into that trade. Also well done to everyone that got into the Golem trade that I shared in my AI show two days ago. I said that I was building a position in Golem and people that got into that are already up over 76% with Golem going on an absolute tear over the past day or so. So I'm always going to keep you up to date with the latest trading opportunities in the market. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed and click that post notification bell down below so you don't miss a single upload next week. I've got a lot of alpha coming your way. That is for sure. And as you can tell, I'm now on the daily uploads. So even on a Saturday or a Sunday, I wanna make sure I'm giving you wisdom every single day, whether it's more of a strategy-based video like today, or a video where I'm revealing altcoin picks and very direct trades like I have over the past couple of days. So before we get into the strategy itself here, if you wanna do any trading of any crypto altcoins, I wanna remind you that there's a link in the description below to sign up for BitGet, which will give you access to up to a $30,000 sign up bonus, as well as a free $10 air job. So you can click the link in the description below to claim that sign up bonus. And obviously BitGet does have access to a lot of the hottest coins in the market and they're always listing new coins as well. So we're starting to see the signs of froth come back to the market. In previous shows, I have given you the evidence behind the fact that I don't think retail is fully here. And I still believe that is the case, but we are certainly starting to build a little more hype now, especially through meme coins. These are a great attractor of that retail crypto audience as meme coins and easy to understand trends tend to be the trends that retail gravitates the most towards. We can see KSI now commenting on meme coins almost daily back on his crypto account. We see Offset, a famous rapper, starting to shill meme coins, shilling Myro as his first crypto ever, saying, homies made some racks on Doge, cop some Myro as my first crypto ever. And just in general, retail is starting to take an interest again in the market through these meme coins. I actually had a friend that messaged me yesterday. He's someone I've been friends with since I went to school and he messaged me and he's talking about FOMOing into meme coins because he's like, oh, memes are pumping, what should I do? This is just giving you an anecdotal sign of where the market is now starting to head. And this is good and scary at the same time. We do know big meme coin pumps have typically led to shorter term corrections because that's when the market gets overheated. But I will say in a way it is good because for crypto to really perform strongly this cycle, we do need retail to come back into the market. And although we have seen a strong institutional bid and existing players starting to position themselves long, Getting retail back in through these meme coins, through gaming, through these narratives that they love, that overall does inject liquidity into the market. And that's why for other altcoins, it is also technically a good thing. I really did like this tweet here from Mercury. He said, your retail normie friends are just starting to take interest again. They're not acting on that interest though, because people are lazy. They get lulled into two to three weeks of complacency as we grind at the highs and they convince themselves the best action is no action. Then they FOMO in all at once. Study greed setting in over time and then fear setting in immediately. So what this results in, and this is very common in a bull market, is periods of explosive price growth. And then you do see these heavy handed corrections that start to set in as the fear does set in when you do get these shakeouts. Retail, unlike us who have been in the market for a long time, and maybe some of you haven't, generally get more affected by these shakeouts. We are very used to it as seasoned crypto investors and traders, but retail isn't. So you have to keep in mind that it does 
cause the market to get overheated and you see funding really increase as people take on leverage and then you do see these flushes. Even on Bitcoin, we have seen multiple times these big flushes as the market tends to get overheated and then it comes back down and causes these corrections. But you might be thinking, Miles, what does this have anything to do with the strategy you want to share today? Well, the strategy actually lies in these corrections. When we get flushes, the market is giving you information. When you do see these short-term panic events and liquidation events, the market is giving you the most valuable up-to-date information because it is literally spelling out for you based on the price action of these wicks, what altcoins are going to perform the strongest on the next leg up because we know that bull markets, they aren't in a straight line. We do get these pullbacks and the market grinds higher, but we get these aggressive wicks to the downside and it's these wicks that are the most valuable, not only because they're buying opportunities, but also because they give you information, information as to where the head of the market is at. And if you could understand what the market is thinking, where the retail mind share is, you can position yourselves in those trades and in those projects to unlock the greatest profits. Let me show you exactly how to do this. So I'm actually gonna use the events of the last 24 hours to contextualize this because obviously you can apply this logic on a higher time frame, like the daily or weekly when there are big flushes. And if you apply this on a higher time frame, then the length of, of which you hold a token or invest in a token will be across a higher time frame. And you can also apply this on a lower time frame, so one hourly, four hourly. And then obviously this will dictate if you do build positions based on this, the amount of time that you're going to hold that position. So if you're charting on the one hourly, obviously this is more of a trade. It might be a trade you hold for a few days or a couple of weeks. If you're trading on the, on the weekly, this might be a trade that you have to hold months, even maybe up to a year or more. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an example over the past 24 hours because it's the most relevant and most actionable in terms of the altcoins involved right now. But of course, the logic is the exact same no matter what time frame you trade on and this is why I say this is the key to unlocking easy bull market profits because this is the way that you can use this information to your advantage. So let's look at the last 24 hours. We saw a big flush on alts. One of the biggest flushes, leverage flushes on alts we have seen in the last couple of weeks. We did have a, a, about a week ago that huge wick to the upside and then downside and it wiped a lot of people out. But this was another classic case of the market was getting a bit frothy, meme coins were pumping and we did see a flush across alts. Now, it may not seem like it when you're watching this video because you, you might look at your portfolio and think, oh, it's, it's a bit down from yesterday, but it's relatively stable. But at one point, during the last 24 hours, many alts were down 20 to 30%. But what actually happened was that wick got bought up super quick. And it's in the buy up of that wick where you can see the coins that recover the strongest. And the coins that recover the strongest, as this wick gets bought up, that is the market telling you that these are the coins, if the market continues on an expansionary phase, that are likely to perform. The market is all about positioning yourselves in coins that are exhibiting relative strength, underneath narratives that are exhibiting relative strength, and underneath trends that are exhibiting relative strength. And if you manage to allocate the majority of your trading portfolio on lower time frames to coins that are showing strength, you're going to outperform. And the exact same thing is going to happen on a higher time frame if you allocate the majority of your portfolio to narratives that are gaining the most traction. And I talk about things like AI and gaming, etc., as being those narratives for longer term, then you're going to outperform the rest of the market that is simply in the coins that the market does not prefer. So let's look at the last day as an example on specific alts. In the top left corner, there's Ondo. This is an example of a coin where this wick got bought up super quick. Now from the bottom of the wick to the current price, it moved up 17%. And it's actually above the levels that it was even before the wick. So this was bought up super quick, which shows that the market is super bullish right now on Ondo. In the top right hand corner of the screen, this is another interesting setup where, okay, it is starting to break above the previous level before the dip. But what's interesting about WIF is how deeply it corrected, but then how aggressively it got bought back up. People were aping into this thing and over the last 24 hours, from the bottom of the wick to the current price, there is a 43% spread. Now, it may not seem like it because if you entered a position yesterday and you, you weren't leveraged and you were spot and you looked at your portfolio today, you'd think, oh, I'm just a little bit up today. But in reality, there's been a massive price swing in both directions. And the data that we're getting from WIF right now from the market is this is one of the most bullish coins because buyers had the propensity to step in with extreme volume when it wicked down and actually buy up the coin because they're bullish on the coin and that pretty much tells you everything in the market so these are two examples of coins that are, i would consider strong right now and if the market does go to an expansionary phase this week so 
okay, goes up in price. These are two coins which I think are likely to outperform this week. But let's look at two other coins which show the opposite, the converse effect of this. Ethereum is one of them. It had a wick to the downside like every other coin. It's slightly less volatile than every other coin, but it's still below the level that it previously was before it dipped, and it has only managed to recover 2%, so it didn't really show a very strong price response. And then in the bottom right-hand corner, this is an example of an extremely weak coin, where STG is actually still 4% lower than it was before the dip, and from the bottom of the dip to the current price, it's only up 4%. This is an example of a weak coin because unlike WIF, if you look at the top right hand corner, it hasn't responded as strongly. So this is a very basic thing you can do. And I like using Velo data for this because you can put charts next to each other. You can try and identify the coins that rebounded the best. And that's why I say that when the market dips, when you get these flushes in altcoins, that is the best time to observe, just be an observer which coins actually perform the best on that recovery. Note those coins down, put them in your trading view or your coin gecko watch list and watch these coins. If this is a larger pullback on a higher time frame, these are good longer term positions. If this is a flush on a lower time frame, this is likely a good trading opportunity if the market continues to expand. Because the market isn't as simple as just longing any token and you're gonna make money. It's all about optimization. It's about opportunity cost. If you're going to long, you want to be long the coin that pumps the most. It's just the basic law of opportunity cost. Just like if you're shorting in the market, you want to short the coin that is the most bearish. Here are a couple other tools that can help you identify strength or weakness. You can use a website like Banter Bubbles, where on a day where the market dips, look at which coins are performing the most strongly. Over the last day, we can see this is clearly the meme coins. You've got Flocky, Pepe, Whiff, but you also have some of the D-Pin, Storage Coins, AR, Filecoin performing really well, Ajix, AI Coins. You can clearly see in front of you which narratives have the attention of the market, even though this is a red day in general. So whilst a lot of the layer ones like Injective are looking quite weak, Sui, Aptos looking quite weak, Sand, Gala looking quite weak, gaming coins are actually down. We're seeing AI, meme coins and storage slash deep in coins performing the strongest. And this is giving you great information because this is over the last 24 hours. This is telling me if Bitcoin decided to rip to 65K and altcoins follow suit, we are likely to see these narratives in front of you continue to outperform. It's much easier to long strength in the market than try and long laggards because you never know when a laggard is going to suddenly reverse trend and improve, but you do know that existing trends that are showing strength are likely to continue to exhibit that strength until there ends up being a trend reversal. Alongside banter bubbles, you can also use Velo once again. If you click on market on the top right hand corner of the screen, and this is one of my favorite tools on the site, there's a tab called price changes. And what price changes is, is it allows you to see over any given time frame, so daily, four hourly, one hourly, weekly, etc., what the strongest altcoins are from large cap, mid cap, and small cap gainers. If you look at this every single morning and put this as part of your daily routine, you wake up and you scroll across the lower time frames and even the higher timeframes across small, large, and mid caps, even new listings, you can start to get a feel for what is performing. The, the most important part about being a trader is being aware of the coins that are exhibiting strength and weakness. Otherwise, you're essentially going into the market blind. And if you can nail this strength, eventually your brain is just gonna start picking things up. You're going to see patterns that reveal themselves in the market. And eventually when you're making trading decisions, you'll be able to recall from that memory because it's so ingrained in you. You're doing it every single day, what kind of coins are performing the best in any given set of market conditions. Another website you can use is Bolognese. This also allows you to view the coins that are exhibiting strength. And right now we're seeing a lot of the AI tokens performing well. Golem, that's one that I called on the show performing well, alongside a lot of the meme coins. You can see, you know, memes performing well. You can see Whiff, etc., are all showing strength. Ondo as well. I love this tweet here from Glug about meme coins. He said, retailer off work today, being a Sunday. See Pepe at their all-time high and friends DM them about how much they're up on a frog meme they rush to buy commence the Sunday TWAP, <laughs> which is actually kind of what we're seeing because Whiff and these other coins are exploding. So weekends are actually a retail's favorite time to trade because they're usually busy during the week, but the weekdays have more consistent volume for trading. So for most people, weekends will be, you know, your period of research. And then in terms of positioning yourself, probably better to do so on the weekdays, especially, you know, with the majors and the coins, you know, where market makers are heavily involved. Some of these are liquid memes though, they can actually pump across the weekends. And that's something that we did see last cycle. And this meme trend is one that I definitely wouldn't be fading in the market at 
at all. You have to remember that in a bull market, it's oftentimes best not to overthink things and just submit to the most simple narratives in the market. Whether that be meme coins, whether that be gaming, NFTs, things that sound completely stupid, they actually end up performing the best because most people don't want to think. Most retail doesn't want to think. They ape into the things that are just very easy and simple for them to understand. So it's funny, you know, we're DGENs and we do a lot of fundamental research and obviously that pays off and it gives us an edge. But just sometimes in the right market conditions, you just got to sit back, not overthink things and accept that things like memes are going to perform really strongly in the market. And this will be another cycle, I do believe, of meme coins being some of the strongest performing coins. Despite us thinking the market's maturing, it's getting smarter, the game's changing, it's becoming more sophisticated. This last week was a reminder that it's not becoming more sophisticated. In some ways it is, the tech's improving, and in some ways the market has become smarter, at least the existing participants. But when the retail floods in, as we're seeing is the case this week, it pretty much, you, you, we go back to square one. And things like meme coins, they start to perform really strongly. Actually, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a video on a meme coin that I'm super interested in. It's called Puff. It's not just a meme coin. There's a lot more to it. So I recommend clicking the notification bell because I want to make sure you're equipped with all the information super early regarding Puffs. So that's a video I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, I do think that's a really, really interesting one for people that want to get involved. It's a multi-month storyline that's going to play out over three months. It might seem like a meme coin, but it is definitely going to be much, much more. So that video will be tomorrow. So subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss that. It's going to be super, super interesting. And I'll explain everything in a bit more detail in that video instead of being so cryptic. But in terms of the narratives that I think are going to perform really well this cycle, I think, as I said, it's going to be the ones that retail can understand, but also have retail and general, even real world mindshare. AI is a great example of this. It has real world mind share. It's always in the news. Everyone's thinking about AI. They're worried about how AI is going to affect their jobs. They're also looking at interesting ways to incorporate it into their life. And it's becoming more of a part of our lives through technology. So this is a sector that I'm really, really bullish on. And I think some of the strongest performers this cycle are going to be in AI. I did a video a couple of days ago on that. If you want to check it out, I talked about a few altcoins. A lot of them are already significantly up, which um, really just comes with the territory of this market when you have you know a strong trend like this. GameFi as well. Gaming, one of the strongest performing narratives last cycle. People love gaming. When they ape into memes, gaming is often the next natural progression. Um, AI is a little bit new. We didn't see that pop off last cycle. There's obviously a lot more hype around it now, but these are probably the three most hyped narratives. And then a little bit more of a sophisticated narrative that plays into gaming and AI is of course Deepin. So these are private infrastructure networks which actually facilitate the scaling of AI and gambling. So people that are trying to outsmart those narratives a little bit, I think they're gonna to gravitate towards the infrastructure plays. And for me, that's the next natural progression from the very blatant hype plays of AI and gaming. So I think Deepin is also gonna perform super, super strongly. So if you're going to take away anything from this video, identify strength. Make sure that you're always looking for the strongest coins in the market. When we do get pumps, that is a great way to identify strength because whatever pumps the hardest, that has the strength, right? But I actually learn a lot more in dip recoveries because this is a much better time to observe information because that information is still applicable if you continue an uptrend. After a pump, that information is only applicable during the next downtrend because you're going to buy that before it pumps up again. So... That is why I like to use both, of course, but I wanted to present this strategy today because it happened over the last 24 hours, so it's a great teaching opportunity. And then the other thing to keep in mind is, is what I've been preaching on about, and that's just not overthinking the market right now. It's a left curve market when conditions are like this. Now's the time not to overthink things. And obviously there will be times where the market isn't as exciting, when it's chopping sideways, when it's even bleeding, and then you kind of have to overthink things because you're trying to protect capital. And then you can't afford to take risks in stupid stuff. But while the market is in stupid mode, you can kind of play a little bit stupid. And I think that stupid mode, although these are the early signs, it can become a lot more stupid. Now there will be pullbacks. I literally just said that earlier in the video, there are going to be pullbacks, but this is where you're gonna gain that information. So when stupid mode gets even bigger, your position in the most stupid stuff. Well, not stupid stuff, but the stuff that ends up performing the best. And a lot of the time that is actually the stupid stuff in this market, like the meme coins, etc. But there are coins like Ondo, RWA or coins that are also performing super strongly. By the way, it's crazy that Golem is literally the largest gainer today. And this is the one that I said I was buying like on the AI show two days ago. Congrats to everyone that got into that. We're just trying to share alpha every single day on the show. And if you don't want to trade any of these altcoins, AI, meme coins, etc., remember there is a link in the description to BitGet for the $30,000 sign-up bonus. You can use this link, claim that bonus alongside a free $10 airdrop. I'm going to see you tomorrow for a meme coin show. 
then I'm going to see you for another AI show. And I have so much amazing content over the next week. So turn that notification bell on. Let me know if you're part of the Nodi gang. I know we have a lot of loyal followers now watching all the videos as soon as they come out, which is amazing. Uh, and I'm going to try and hold up my end of the bargain and make sure every single day I'm coming with the best alpha that I can to make sure that it's worth your while every time you do click on that new video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely rest of your weekend. See you tomorrow. Peace out.